Hey, what's up, Integrity Fam? We're back with an academy session, and today we're talking about click checking, mysterious click checking. Let's look into a lab to make it a little more clear. All right, we're going to have a look at a lab by Portswigger, and we're going to look at the application, and we do see a my account page over here. And the lab gives us a user with the username Wiener, and the password is Peter. And now we see that we're logged in with that user. So next up, we're going to have a look around and we realize, okay, there is an interesting button that says delete account. So that is a little dangerous. And the idea in this lab here is to trick the user into clicking this button with him actually realizing that he's deleting his account right now. And for that, we're going to have an exploit server. The exploit server, think of it, think of it as like, a website hosted by the attacker. So that is the attacker's page. And if we look at it right now, it just says, hello world, it doesn't do anything. But we're going to change that. And what the exploit server allows us to do is we can insert a payload, insert an attack payload, and this is going to be executed. But first we have to learn about iframes. So an iframe is an HTML element that is a nested browsing context embedding another HTML page into the current one. So basically you're going to browse to page A, but on page A, you see a little box with page B. And we're going to try this out right now because otherwise it's just too difficult to understand. And if we look at this, we're going to use the iframe HTML tag, the one that we've just learned about. We are using the URL of the account page that has the dangerous delete account button, and we are going to set up an iframe. And now if we view the exploit, we do see our page A or B, whatever you want to call it, with the account page framed on the attacker's page. All right, so what do we want to do next? We are going ahead and say, okay, this looks a little odd. It was pretty small. We are going to style this differently. and in order to do that, we have something called cascading style sheets or CSS. And what we're going to do with that is we just say, hey, we do have a frame, but we want this frame to look a little different. And therefore we can just say, okay, we're going to specify the width being 1000 pixel, the height being 700 pixel. We're changing the opacity so that it's a little transparent to 0.1 and there's a Z index, but more on that later. And what we're going to see right now is that our iframe, our account website actually is a little bigger. And we can see that if you look at the mouse, the buttons, they're still working. It doesn't really matter that it's transparent, the buttons are still working and that is important. And next up, we're going to insert a diff HTML tag. And what this is doing, it, we're just giving it a little text, say, click me. And we are also going to style that div tag. So we can do it in the same way. Instead of saying iframe right now, we just say div. And we're going to style this in a way that we're saying, okay, um, we want to give this a position being uh, absolute. And if we keep on going, we want to give this a width or like a top position and where it's positioned on the left side of the screen. And we also want to give this a Z index. And the Z index just means what is on top of the other element. So right now our div has a Z index of one. And you can see that over here, the click me div container is on top of the iframe because the iframe is having a Z index of two. So now we're having our iframe, the website underneath and our text above. So if you look at this, you might start realizing what's going on here with click checking. If we're moving around this text, we can try to put it over the actual button underneath. And this is exactly what we're going to do right now. So you see that the click me text is getting closer and closer to that delete account button. And now we have it perfectly lined up. So next up, we're going to change the opacity. 
And we can just do that by adding a couple of zeros. We just say 0 0.00001. And if the victim visits the attacker website, he will see this screen. It's like a blank white screen. There's a button that says click me. You see the mouse changing. So it looks like an actual button. But in reality, the thing you see is the button underneath. So the delete account button. And if we trick the victim into clicking this, we do see that we have successfully solved the lab. All right, as usual, let's quickly reiterate what we've seen today. So first of all, we learned about click checking attacks. This was the task of today's session. And what you've seen is that there is an HTML element called an iframe. An iframe allows you to use a website, let's say website A, and use it on website B by framing it using the HTML tag. Here's the catch. This only works if website A allows framing. If framing is not allowed, you won't see it displayed on website B or the attacker's website. And this is crucial because if framing is not allowed, you would not be able to trick the victim into clicking the delete account button. And in that sense, it would not be a vulnerability. Next up, we have seen how we can use cascading style sheets or CSS to specify how the frame should look like, the iframe should look like. And we changed it in a way that it got transparent and you couldn't see it anymore as the victim. And then we placed a little decoy button saying click me on top of the delete account button, which was the actual button deleting the account. And we tricked the victim into visiting this website, clicking the fake button, and actually, well, in the back, sending a request to the application to delete his own account. All right. I hope you learned something new today. I hope this made it a little clearer to you what click checking is. For click checking, it's just really, really important to realize that there has to be an impact. If you delete an account, then all the data is lost. So this demonstrates an impact. If there isn't really anything special going on, you maybe, I don't know, like you make the victim click and the only thing that happens is he gets the latest weather data. It's not really impactful and you should not report that. All right, and with that, let me know if you have any questions down below in the comment section. Please give this video a like and subscribe in the top right corner and I will see you folks again pretty soon.